me. I'm out for three weeks. Simon, don't you get this? I want to be with you. Another younger man? You know it always ends in tears. He's not that much younger. We are talking gay years here, Simon. You know, the market has never been more competitive. Isn't it cool having a young mum? Me and my mum are more like sisters than mother and daughter. You're the kind of guy that ladies always put on the friend ladder. Let me guess, Lucy sees you as a friend? I love this stuff. It's called tart hair. And you just rub a tiny amount in, like this. <gasps> Simon, how good is tart hair? Changed my life. Where's the kid? Out the back with the client. When you're a kid, you live in the moment, acting on impulse and never thinking about what the consequences might be. <coughs> oh, I was just fixing... Matthew. Well, I don't know, the meter at the front. Oh, and I like your hair, by the way. Mate. It's very tart. When you stuff up as a kid, you know what to expect. But what happens when you stuff up as an adult? I was thinking of a souffle, but I'd be worried I wouldn't be able to get it to rise. Hey, Jeff might be able to give you a hand with that. Stick with something simple, Breezer. Stun them with your natural good taste. Mm, it's important that things in life are in good taste, isn't it? It's my first ever dinner party and I want it to be perfect. Sorry, that's Simon's area. Can you wait for me, heretic? And please, stop pretending you're not fighting. Once you're an adult, can you still just spit the dummy and hope for the best? It was just a pash. Mm, looked more like pash plus one to me. That's as far as I go. Fine. You're not mad? Look, I've been where you are. I I'm not going to stop you from exploring your personal boundaries. I just want us to be honest with each other. OK. So, um... This Matthew, it's a regular thing, is it? That one, I swear. First time. Lucky guy. Would it make a difference if it wasn't? No, I can't say I'm truly happy with you going the patch plus one with any old random, but if you're going to go around behind my back, I'm going to think something's going on. There's nothing going on. You're my guy. Then let's trust each other, like adults. I promise to save all the R-rated stuff for you. You done? Like two tarts in a bakery. It's so expensive. Can I borrow a fitty? Of course. Can I? Of course. Thanks. Why are you dressed like an accountant? Parent teacher night. Yeah, the mums and dads get to blame you for all their kids' problems. Where well, I help parents understand their kids a little better. Because they're too busy to bother. Well, that's just the fact that when kids are at school, I spend more time with them in a day than their parents get to. I'm responsible for them. You shouldn't take that on. It's my job. See ya. Bye. Bye. Oh. Well, just give it to me. Are you going to carry it? You're moving in. Just for a bit. 
Till he's fit enough to chase me around again. Oh, brave man, returning to the site of the injury. <laughs> I'm prepared to risk it. <laughs> you know what they say about injuries. Oh, what do they say about injuries? With gentle but constant exercise until it starts to feel a lot better. Oh, keep your mind. <laughs> ah, you look great. Oh, thanks. Parent teacher night. Siding with the enemy. I prefer to think I'm out there fighting the good fight. Better go. Later. She wasn't. Was. Mm. Do you really think a woman who tucks you in is going to tear the same shirt from your back in a fit of passion? She was mothering me, wasn't she? She practically spat on her hanky and wiped your face with it. That's even worse than friend, isn't it? Much. I'm screwed. Apparently not. Pete's a great kid, but being the class clown just isn't helping him to prepare for the real world. But it's important that Hamish realises that Bunsen burners aren't toys. The damage to the other boys' confidence is worth a lot more than the cost of a new school uniform. Um, I... I really don't see how you can blame the school for Ross's language. I didn't even know what that word meant. Good timing. It's my specialty. Now you're just following me, aren't you? Maybe it's the other way around. Well, you can go first. No, fine. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Enjoy your night. I doubt it. My flatmate's cooking. Here? Where I was working. Yeah, we both were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so glad you could make <laughs> it. <laughs> I guess you've already met Justin. Yeah. Okay, now that's Corey. Hello. Kelly. Hi. And you know Jeff, of course, yes. already. Hi. Um, and that's Simon. Hello. This hey. is Susie. Hi, we've heard a lot about you. <laughs> I haven't. Justin, Brett talks about a mum all the time. <laughs> I'm cooking. Christopher's been a bit distracted in class lately, and his grades have been slipping significantly in the last six months. Have you and your wife noticed anything? Oh, uh, we don't talk. Oh. At least she doesn't talk to me. And Christopher? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, this is a bit embarrassing. <laughs> Mr Warner, I care about Christopher's future just as much as you do. As his teacher, you should feel free to tell me anything. Really? Really. For some of us, behaving like an adult just comes naturally. For the rest of us, it's more like a dress we try on every now and then. Just to see if it fits you. Just help yourself to the pre-dinner entrees, everyone. Well, it shouldn't be much longer. So, who's for another drink? Mm -hmm. Any chance any food coming with me? I'll get the drinks. No, I will give you a hand. He's been very helpful. He's just putting on a show for Bray's mum. Yeah, that's active. You want to give him a bloody Oscar? Well, I have to take my part of the blame, too. Well, she's the one who abdicated her responsibility. But I was clueless. I worked like a dog, trying to provide the best for my family, and ended up alienating myself from them. Well, it sounds like you're just trying to do the right thing. Mm. I've learned the hard way that doing the right thing can end up being totally wrong. The bell. I'm afraid so. Thanks. Now I know why Chris talks about you all the time. You must be a great teacher. Thank you. It's a disaster. So it doesn't look perfect. Let's have a taste. Mm, delicious. Mm. It's really different. What, what sort of cheese is that? Brie. Of course. Mm. Good choice. Well, I think it's great, Breezer. Is there any bread? To Brie, a toast. 
Um, 